There are four basic processes in motivational interviewing. The first is engaging. And this is where the emphasis is on building an alliance and a working relationship with your client. The first process in motivational interviewing is the foundation. Nothing else can happen until engaging is present. The second process is focusing. This is where you and your client come to a shared idea about what is the main focus of the time that you'll be spending together. You can spend a lot of time talking about one problem or concern or behavior after another, or even a desired change one after the other, and never really make progress moving towards any of them unless you eventually come to a shared focus. The third process is evoking. And this is where you as the interviewer will be taking a special emphasis on bringing out the client's own arguments for change, their own hopes for themselves, their own values, their own goals for the future. When clients hear themselves offer the reasons for change, they're more likely to believe what they hear, particularly if they are ambivalent. And fourth, finally, we have planning. Planning is that process that occurs when the client is willing to envision an important change and how exactly they might go about making it. The important thing to remember is that in the planning process, we're going to carry through the spirit of motivational interviewing in that planning so that really the client's autonomy is supported and it's a collaborative power sharing interaction that happens when the planning is done as opposed to an expert-driven process that you might find in some other kinds of treatment approaches.